Welcome to the review of Unit 3. Proponents of Measure 110 are not happy. They want to see change. They believe that drug addicts on their own are not able to kick the habit and fear of imprisonment doesn't work. They also say that prison is not a place that is known for people to turn their lives around in a good way. In fact, inmates are exposed to violent criminals in prison. Drugs also make their way into the prisons and it's really hard for some people to get a job once they become a felon. So, proponents of the measure want to keep prison out of the equation and focus on effective treatment instead. Felon Felon If drug users are treated as people who need help, it may give them the opportunity to avoid the downward spiral of addiction and criminalization. Now, at this point, no one really knows which side is right. Downward spiral downward spiral. Harsh punishments have been tried for decades and the truth is they haven't prevented people from destroying their lives. If decriminalization can free up America's prison population as well as uh, allow police officers to focus on more important crimes, uh, then maybe it's worth giving this method a shot. Shot at something. Shot at something. Why do you think that alcohol is not included in the hard drug classification? Uh, I think it's because the way people think about this is just wrong. Um, we know for a fact uh, that alcohol uh, destroys way more lives than any illegal drug. Uh, we do not treat it as a criminal offense unless you're doing something like drink driving. Um, and yet, uh, when somebody does have a problem, we see it as commendable for them to seek out the treatment mm. that they mm. need mm. and as friends and family members we, we tend to be supportive. Mm. But for some reason when we find out that somebody is on drugs, um, you know, maybe we don't have the same reaction. Maybe we think that that person is, you know, doing something illegal and deserves to be in jail. Uh, I think this is just a stigma that needs mm. to be overcome and defeated. The author mentioned about uh, punishment for drugs being unequally applied, mm -hmm. in specifically in the U.S. Yes. Um, what do you think that means? Uh, I think that when rich people get uh, get caught, shall mm -hmm. we say, yeah. uh, they tend to get the treatment that they need, mm -hmm. whereas when poor people get caught, uh, they are much more likely to go to jail for their actions. So I think that's what they're referring to. That'll do it for the review of this unit. We hope to see you guys back for the next one. Take care.